Good morning. Hey there. How is everyone today? I am just getting started on my Monday morning make. My name is Patience, and I have a small business called NotesFromPatience.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I am located in central Arkansas. And um, give me a moment to get this shared to a couple of my pages that I manage, and then we will get started. I've got some cute, cute paper to show you. This paper that I have displayed is... Um, some plaid paper that's in our um, holiday catalog, our August to December mini catalog. And um, it is 15% off right now. And what that means is um, I don't have all the papers out here right now, but you get a pack of paper, six by six, and it's 48 sheets, double sided, because there's cute plaid on the other side also and um you get that normally for 11.50 but uh 15 off it's at 9.78 and if you're a happy shopper with me that brings the discount down even further because you'll get 20 percent off of that 9.78 which would be um a seven dollars and eighty cents so let me go ahead and get started today i'm doing two cards for you they are simple. Um, it will involve blends. I brought my blends out this morning. And um, not a whole lot of blending technique that you need to have uh, in your brain because it's so it's simple. The blends just make it so simple for you. Um, Country Home is the stamp set. And there are 14 stamps in this uh, photopolymer stamp set. Um, they are clear. So you can see where you're stamping, right where you need to be. And um, these stamps, I haven't had much use out of this whole stamp set. But when I get into the fall season, I really like it. This stamp set's been around for a couple of years. Maybe this is the second year that it's been in our catalog. So I really like it. But let me show you the cards we're going to make today. Um, using the plaid paper, of course. Um, and you'll see that the colors on this card, I've used three different color blends, and that's it. And then on this one, I think I've used one, maybe five different color blends. So you'll definitely need some blends for this. And when I'm done, I will post all the information um, in the description and post it on my blog so you'll know exactly what to order to make these beauties. Um, I layered this card up. I think it looks really nice all layered up. I've got basic gray for my cardstock, but I also have gray granite in here with this plaid. This plaid is monochromatic. It's got the blacks and the white and the gray, and it just looks really good. You could really put any pop of color on this. So let's get started in making these cards. Let me put this away. Okay. The first one I'm going to make is this, and it has some, I don't know what those are called, but I called them cattails growing up. I lived on the farm, and um, we called them cattails. They would be in the ditch, and my dad would stop and get us a cattail, and that's back when we could actually ride in the back of a truck. Okay, so... I've got my sheet of paper. Like I said, I will have all the measurements on my blog. I want to go ahead and get started. Let's turn that over. I've got some ink on my hands. I guess I need to clean my hands right quick. Been inking it this morning. Okay, just turn that over so I don't have any smudges. Okay, so I'm starting with Memento Black. And it's... um. Tuxedo black, but it's memento, and I've got the uh, milk milk can out here. I'm gonna put that toward the bottom. Okay, and now I am taking that stamp that has the cattails and the variegated ivy on there, and 
These are real easy to see, so it doesn't matter if you get black on your milk can image because it'll just look like it needs to be there. Okay, so I've got a real clear, crisp image here. Okay, now I am going to stamp the circle and the hello. Now I could stamp that off on a, another sheet of paper and fussy cut that out, but I'm gonna stamp it right on my milk jug. And then I'm gonna put hello in it. That way um, it could be a hello card. I can turn it into a birthday card. I can make it a, a thank you card. Okay. So how easy was that? Now, if you wanted, you don't have to color this. If you wanted to put it on the gray and leave it black and white, that is just as pretty like that. But I am gonna go ahead and color this. Put the lid on my ink so I don't get all inky. I'm gonna start with my light Smoky Slate Blend. I'm gonna use the fat tip. And what I do on this is I color the whole, the whole thing. And you do not have to press down really hard using a blend. It's an alcohol marker. And so the paper, right when you touch it, it takes the color. So you don't have to um, make that sound that most markers make. The little screechy sound. But I'm coloring the whole thing light first. Um, doesn't take a lot of technique because Stampin' Up puts the lines where you need to make your shading. They kind of they kind of give you pointers just on the stamp. Okay. And by the way, we're not making a perfect card. We're making a homemade card. Um this is the dark smoky slate and what I'm going to do here is I'm gonna shade this up here because remember there's greenery in this milk can. I'm gonna shade this because it's darker on the inside. And then we're stamping up, put these lines. I'm gonna go ahead and shade that because they've given you a hint. Let's see, let me go ahead and do that. Just a little bit under the hello. Okay, then I'm going to take my light Smoky Slate blend marker back and go over that and blend that into what I just colored and go over it again. And it looks like it's making it all that dark color, but it is just blending the dark into the light. Believe me, I am no artist, but this makes me feel like I'm an artist because they tell you where to do it, where to do it with the lines. Okay, so now there there is stuff in our milk jug, so I'm going to use the same and give me some shading down here on the ground because there is something in the milk jug, so. This kind of makes it look like shade. Okay, so now I am actually going to take the greenery. I'm going to color this. Oh, I don't know what this is called. But I like it. But I'm just, I'm not going to shade it or anything. I'm just going to color it all the same color. And it's light old olive. Then I'm going to take another green. And it is light mossy meadow. And I'm gonna use the small tip to color these berries. Oh no, I don't wanna color the berries. Let me color the leaves. There we go. The variegated leaves is what I wanna do. Okay, even though it's a darker green, it is still light. So let's color these leaves. So I don't want a real dark one because I want you to see the uh, detail. On these leaves. Okay. And 
There we go. And then I said it was going to be variegated. I don't know what kind of plant this is that I've seen, but I saw one this weekend that had the red on the leaves. And I like that. And I thought, I can do that. I can make that. So I'm taking light poppy parade and putting the red or the pinkish color that I've seen. I don't know. I know there's plant lovers out there that will know exactly what kind of plant I'm trying to imitate here. So there you go. That's all I'm doing. And I'm switching to the small end. And now I'm coloring the berries. Those two berries will just be darker. And I'm also going to pick back up my light smoky slate. And use the small end and color this. I don't know if this would supposed to be fern. And if it is, ferns are green, but I'm making mine gray. Get those colored in. Okay, now for the cattails. Well, let me go ahead and keep this. There's the dark side here. I'm going to go ahead and just do that with my smoky slate on my cattails. And then I'm going to take my new blend. This is the one of the new ink colors. It's called Cinnamon Cider, and this is Light Cinnamon Cider. And I'm going to color those cattails. Now this, I chose Cinnamon Cider for this because it matches the plaid paper I'm going to put it with. Okay, so now we're finished with coloring our image. And we've got our shading down here below the milk can. So let's uh, put this, well wait, I've got one more thing on a stamp. I want to stamp a sentiment on the inside of the card. I have so grateful for someone like you in my life. Um, I'm make, gonna make this a thank you card because I need a thank you card. And so I have my stamp already mounted on my clear block. Let's ink that up. And I'm just eyeballing where to put it. Okay, and you'll notice I used a piece of the um, plaid to put inside. I don't always do that, but I had an extra, so I cut that off. So let's just go ahead and put that on this piece of cardstock and put it on the inside of our card. Okay, remember we're not looking for perfection, we're looking for homemade. So this color cardstock is Cinnamon Cider, and I made this card base. This is called a card base. I made this from eight and a half by 11 paper, and I scored it at four and a quarter and cut it in the middle, five and a half. So that one sheet of paper makes two cards, or two card bases. Okay, so we turn this over. Put myself some adhesive. Okay, and now let's do the front. Um, my plaid that I want to use on this card, I just used plaid and then white. But my new card, I want to accent the peacock in there. I want to give it just a little bit more layering. So I'm going to put the peacock layer down. And, like I said, I will give you the dimensions in my blog post today. Let's see. There you go. And now I'm going to layer the plaid on there. And these are cut so that you could see just about an eighth of an inch. I got that one just a little too close to the top, but that's okay. I'm happy with that. So I use just regular Whisper White cardstock, and you can see how my blends bled through. Normally I would use thick Whisper White, but since I was mounting this onto another piece of paper, you're not gonna know that it bled through. Okay, 
So there's my first card, and it's so pretty. I like that. Okay, so now my next card is has very few colors to it, but I used a lot of layers with this. I used um, stitched rectangles to make the paper look a little more finished and polished. So um, I just I love the way that looks. The stitched shapes are in right now, but I used monochromatic colors to go with that plaid. And I can't, where's my plaid? There it is. There's my plaid. The plaids have black and white, and I added the gray granite to it. And this gray granite is a shade different, a little more brown than our basic gray. So that's what I'm using today. I'm gonna stamp on this first. I always do my stamping first, because if you mess up, after you put it onto your cardstock, then you've messed up everything. So always, always, always do your stamping first. So I have a water pitcher I'm going to stamp on here and I'm gonna stamp close to the bottom in the center. Okay, and then I have the image that has I um, really don't know what all is in there besides ivy, and these things always look like dried wood to me. I'm not sure what they are, but then we have cotton stalks in there. So, let me ink up my image and set this on top of my picture. Oh, that turned out good. Okay, let me put the lid on my ink so I don't get it everywhere. All right, now I used even fewer colors on this. Um, I started with the black, I'm sorry, the um, light smoky slate again. We used that on the other card, but I'm gonna color these. Now I've always seen these brown, but I wanted to make mine gray. Cause I'm sure there's some gray ones out there somewhere. If not, there's gray ones on my card. And then I know cotton is white, but we're gonna put a little shading at the bottom of every one of these little cotton balls. And I know, I know some farmers out there, their wives are going, they don't have gray on them, but mine will. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit on that one too. Now, on the water pitcher, there's some flecking, probably where the enamel has come off the water pitcher, but I'm just gonna shade that then I'm gonna put a little shading right here. Cause remember, there's something in this water pitcher. Okay, so now I'm gonna put shading down here. And for that one, I'm using the gray granite. Now you remember on the uh, milk can, we used the light smoky slate, but I'm gonna use gray granite because gray granite is the color of my cardstock that I'm gonna layer this, this piece on. So, just giving it a little shading around the bottom. Okay, and then I'm gonna use my light old olive to color the ivy, and then we're gonna be done. I'm even gonna color the berries that color because I wanted it to be simple. Simple stamping, simple coloring. There's no shading on here. Just simple color. Okay, and two more leaves here. And then we are done. How simple is that? That just looks so good. I think it looks so good. Of course, I love stamping. I just, I love what I'm doing here. Um, now, I don't have a sentiment on the outside of the card. I went ahead and put something on the inside. And there again, I put my plaid paper. Um, you are the happy to my day. And there are people out there that you think about that just make you smile when you think when you see them, think about them. So let me find my stamp. You are the happy to my day. Here we go. Ink that up and put that in the middle. Let's see if I've got that. Ooh, I almost did that upside down. 
That would have been fun. Then I could have just turned my piece of paper over and used the other side because it will not bleed through. These inks, this paper is a real nice, good paper, so it will not bleed through. Okay, so I'm going to put my leftover piece of plaid that I cut, and I'm going to put this on here. Okay, maybe this cardstock is cut different. Let me measure that right quick. Let's see, where is my trimmer? Let's measure that. Maybe I got the wrong size here. I did. Let's trim that at four. And five and a quarter. That is the measurement I usually use for my inserts on the inside of my card. So it's four and five and a quarter. So I guess I had grabbed an odd piece of paper there. There we go. But that was easy. That trimmer does what I need. The measurements are so clearly marked. Okay. So there again, I'm putting this on the inside of a card base that I cut and scored previously. Okay, now let me get my image. I'm going to layer it this stitched image on top of a stitched image. So I'm not using dimensionals or anything because I don't want to take away from the coloring that I did. And that because I think it looks great on its own. There we go. And now I'm going to put that on top of my plaid paper. Did I mention we were having a sale on this plaid paper? Got quite a few different papers that are on sale. I'm going to go ahead and put this plaid paper on the black. And I've got all my papers cut. My, um layers cut so that you could see just a little bit. Okay, let me go ahead and layer this on the white. Woo, there we go. Got a little happy with that. There we go. You know what? That piece of paper I had was what I was layering my card on. Let me cut another piece. That's what happens in life. Okay, so I had stamped on the wrong piece of paper, which I have done that so many times before. This one is the top layer. I had used it bef before for my insert. So let's see, I almost did that again. Here we go. I will be the, definitely get these dimensions out there for you so you don't make a mistake like I did. Okay, so now I'm going to put this. For some reason, my, uh, there we go. I'm pressing down too hard. My uh, adhesive was ripping my paper, which that happens if you press down too hard. Okay, so now I'm going to get my plaid, which I've dropped it off the off my table. Here we go. And I'm gonna layer this up in the middle. There we go. And now we're going to take this one. We got a lot of layers, and I like that. The layers is to me is what gives it a little dimension. So that's why I didn't use the dimensionals today. Woo! There we go. So here you go. These are the the cards in today's project. But I just love the colors, and this has that pop of cinnamon cider. So, if you are interested in any of the products that we ha that I had today, just let me know, and um, I can get in touch with you. I have uh, will post this on my um, blog spot, 
today at notesfrompatients.com. And again, I will have a couple of, I'll have two more projects out there along with these two on my blog in about an hour and information on how you can get these wonderful products. So I hope y'all guys have a wonderful Monday and thanks for tuning in and watching my Monday morning make. See you next Monday.